Hey folks, Post here, welcome back to another Pokemon Masters video, and something, they just dropped something on us that I didn't really expect, I, I mean, I knew this banner was coming, but we never really got a chance to, like, know what, exactly what this banner is, and apparently this banner is really, really good, so, um, if you, if you spend 3,000 gems on this, if you do a multi on this banner, you get to choose an additional 5-star sync bear, you get to choose whichever 5-star sync bear you want from this pool, so you do a multi and then they let you choose whichever one you want <laughs> so anyways uh definitely definitely summon on this sync pair if you have if you have the gems if you don't have the gems uh save up gems I'm, and they're just giving us free gems every day there's mission gems bingo gems or, you know we have so much so many gems anyways so save up for this one uh this ends on the 21st so that's what two it's it's around for like two weeks or something right um so actually no it's around for around three weeks a little sh short of three weeks so save up for this banner so you get a, an additional sync unless you already have all of these if you have all of these then you know i guess it's not that big of a deal then uh, but you get to choose which five star you get so um I'll, I'll go over which which five stars are you know that you should probably i would suggest folks to choose in a bit but let me just do the summon first um i know who i want um oh this is pay gems this is only for paid gems. Okay, okay then. So you, if you have paid gems, then go for this. If you don't have paid gems, then well, you can't do this at all. So this is only for paid gems. It's not for free to play gems. Um, you'll have to buy gems to do this. But I would say it's pretty worth it if you don't have some of the top tier sync pairs, right? Um, but otherwise, it's ah uh, oh well. That's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that it's it's paid gems only. But anyways, again, um, I'm gonna go in and uh, and do this. Um, we're, gonna, we're we're going in the one time that you should do a multi, right? Okay. Um, let's animations. No animations at all, really. <laughs> Am I just gonna get like nothing from this? Okay, well, I got that animation, so that's good enough. Winona. Three stars, all three stars. That's our fourth one, right? So, hey, Crasher Week. Sixth. Seventh. Oh! Alyssa! I <laughs> got another Alyssa dupe. That's cool. Eighth. Uh, three out of five for Alyssa now. Ninth, and I think that's the last one, right? Was that the. Yeah, that's the tenth one. So we got an Alyssa dupe. Everything else was whatever i mean we got a four star power which is nice so now we get to choose a five star sync pair of all of these um again i have all of them so i'm gonna go with either caitlin or glacia <sighs> which one do i want um i'm gonna go with glacia even though caitlin's probably better but it's just there's mewtwo there's no point using caitlin and even though Glacia is not that great either, I just, I personally like Glacia as a trainer. Again, um, as for all these other folks, I mean, I already have them. Uh, actually, I don't think I've found them at. Wait, wait, does it tell you what sync level you're at? Oh, it doesn't tell you. But I have most of them, um, either really high on their dupes or already have them maxed out. So, um, well, at least the good ones, right? So I don't need any of the other ones. So I'm just going to pick either Caitlyn or Glacia. I'm going to go with Glacia. Um, just because I, I like Glacia and Glalie a bit more. Um, and there we go. We get, oh, it gives, it gives you a summon, a summon animation for this as well. That's cool, I guess. That's cool. That's cool. Again, Caitlyn's probably better than Glacia, but both of them are pretty bad, honestly. Um, unfortunately, both of them are, are not great. But hey, there we go. I finally got Glacia. What a relief it would, I couldn't even read it because it goes away too quickly. <laughs> Alright, name's Glacia of the Hon Elite 4. I've traveled to Paseo to hone my ice type moves. Okay, cool. Finally got Glacia, I guess. So, anyways. Um, let's go over those characters, which ones you should pick. So it's basically all these except for Lance. So uh, the banner's just gone after you did a summon. I didn't know that, so. Um So basically, of all these units, there there's definitely two that you want more than the others, all the others, which um, that's going to be, you want, your number one option is probably Olivia, and number two is Brendan. So if you don't have Olivia or Brendan, um, take one of those, right? 
Um, Olivia clears more events. Brandon is probably stronger, but I would suggest Olivia if, ju if you just want to clear events, right? Um, again, also before I say that, pick, you know, if you don't care about who's stronger or whatever, just pick whichever is your favorite. But if you do want to know which one's, I, I guess, better to pick, uh, Brandon and Olivia, those are probably your top choices. If you already have Brandon and Olivia, then you go down the line. Um, that would be Phoebe. Phoebe is probably the pick you want after Brendan and or Olivia. And then after that, I'd say maybe Oshawott and then Chris and then Tepig and uh, Alyssa, right? Those are probably the next step after that. And then going down, maybe Chikorita, either Chikorita or Caitlin, maybe. And then after that. I guess at the bottom of the ladder you got stuff like um, Grimsley and Glacia. Although I I'd take Grimsley over Glacia because well at least Grims Grimsley have some use in the Mewtwo event if it ever comes back and if you still need any Mewtwo dupes or anything. So anyways, a quick ex explanation I guess for those of you who are confused or don't know why. <laughs> um, uh, Olivia and Lycanroc, they're just the best, you know, they're, they're just one of the best uh, synchros in the game. Olivia and Ly uh, Lycanroc as well as Brendan and Trico, you know, Olivia's a physical striker, Brendan's a special, but also can be physical as well. Um, Brendan's grass type, obviously, and um, Oli or Olivia's rock type. So what makes them really good is, uh, first of all, base stats, they have insane base stats. Uh, Lycanroc has, uh, has, 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 you know, um, has a move to raise its crit, right? Which also, which also lowers its own special defense, but also as a passive that increases uh, your speed every time you crit, and you have 100% crit weight, right? You know, you use one hardest dime, then one stone edge, and that's uh, that's a guaranteed crit, and then you just raise your speed every time, and that just makes all of it insane. <laughs> and also, you also have um, uh, moves to boost your attack as well. As for uh, Sceptile, Sceptile has, again, really crazy stats, and by the way, Crit Chico, you can evolve all the way up to Sceptile. Um, you have no turn back, which eats up move gauge and then boost your attack and special attack accordingly. Um, max is three, and that will boost it by six. So it's really, really easy to get to plus six with Trico. You also have dire hit plus, which again get your crit to 100%, and you'll do a lot of damage with that. So that's basically why you want those two. And then as for the next step, uh, the next step down uh, after them, and it's not really even you know that much um, worse, right? I mean, Phoebe's really, Phoebe's insanely good. So Phoebe, what Phoebe can do is, uh, Phoebe has has a passive that could pass her buffs um, off to the next uh, Pokemon that comes in once she dies. And she does have Dire Hit, which, uh, Dire Hit Plus, which could, uh, 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 you know, use it twice and buffs your crit to 100%. And also has a move to buff physical attack and also move gauges as well. So when you pass that off, that would obviously be very beneficial. And also, also Phoebe... To pass it off quicker, you have a move that does recoil damage. Take yourself out really, uh, you know, I guess more quicker if you want to pass that um, off uh, more quicker, right? So if you be insanely good in co-op for a support, right? Even though in general supports aren't really that uh, great. Uh, and so, well, I wouldn't say they're not great, but, you know, just not as widely used in co-op. So moving on, uh, the, the next year are just, you know, decent strikers, right? Um, oh, did I not talk about Houndoom? Houndoom is probably... I guess better than Glacia and Grimsley. <laughs> so let's put it there. Um, as for the next, and blue is like uh, around, you know, Karen's place, right? Um, so moving on, next tier of of stuff you pr probably want to pick up. Chris, Chris has uses for a decent amount of events, so you could pick up Chris, uh, right? Uh, for Alligator is not really reliable, but when you do get the mega uh, kicks to hit, they do a lot of damage. And the only downside to Chris is, like, you only get two guaranteed crits, and then after that, like, you're just done. <laughs> um, Hilda, Tepic, and Alyssa are kind of the same. They do a lot of damage, and they're both pretty bulky as well, but that comes with the price of taking recoil damage from its moves, and the recoil damage that you take is a lot, actually. So there's that. Uh, moving on um, to, to Hilbert. Hilbert I like a lot as a support. Uh, because you could get, you know, um, you could use its attack buff move twice, and you know, at, even at full, you know, it's the lower your HP is, the more attack it boosts. 
but at full HP it boosts three, so you could just use it at full HP twice, and then you're at plus six. And you also have um, X speed all, so that's great as well. Um, so that's Hilbert. Moving on to like the next, you know, stuff. If you have all the above, the next units that you probably want to pick, I guess Lyra would be an option. Lyra, Lyra's actually a really good buffer if you have her in optimal uh, position, but it's just hard to optimize her because you need uh, Sunny Day to optimize Lyra. So if you don't have Sunny Day, you're not gonna get. You're only getting half of the stats that she buffs, which is unfortunate. But uh, uh, moving on from Lyra, I guess. Um, I guess on like the same level of sync pairs that you probably want to pick up. Uh, would be blue maybe. Um, blue does have some uses in some um events, and you know once blue mega evolves into mega Pidgeot, blue's pretty strong, right, <laughs> for the most part. But it's just hard to get blue to mega evolve, and that's kind of the problem. That's why no one really uses blue, unfortunately. Um, moving on, I would say oh, also Caitlyn. Caitlyn probably in this category as well. Caitlyn just gets completely outclassed by Mewtwo. If you don't have Mewtwo, I guess Caitlyn's a good pickup, right? But if you have Mewtwo, there's really not too much point in getting uh, Caitlyn, unfortunately. Uh, after that, it's probably Karen. Karen's just not that great. Karen's more like a tech plus striker unit, which it tries to do some damage before it mega evolves, and it just doesn't. And it tries to be a tech unit as well. It, it, it's just trying to fill a lot of roles, and it just doesn't do any one of those extremely well. But once it mega megas, it actually does a lot of damage after it megas. But you have to mega, and it's insanely hard to do that in co-op. Uh, Karen's fine in single player though, although she again doesn't do too much damage before she megas. And then the last one you want to pick up is Glacia. Glacia is just not great overall, <laughs> not a good supporter. She doesn't do much. She's probably the worst symbol five star in the game. So, anyways, um, that's me for this one. I hope you guys are gonna let me know what you guys pulled in your polls, I guess, whatever you pulled, or which ones you guys picked for for your uh, free unit, or if you're summoned at all, if you're if you don't have any paid gems and I guess that's unfortunate. Hopefully they'll throw out another version of this with unpaid gems in the future. That would be pretty cool. But anyways, again, um, that's me for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I got Glacia finally. And um, like and enjoy this video. Subscribe to your channel for some more Pokemon Masters content. And I'll see you guys in a bit then. Uh, I guess since it's... I, I did not expect to upload a video this late. So um, I'll see you guys in like eight or so hours. <laughs>